Hey, what's up guys? Jamie here, and look, I'm wearing my Daryl Dixon shirt. So, I am going to talk about The Walking Dead. So, The Walking Dead is life, and it is the best show ever. If you don't agree, you can just go look at the flowers. Um, so, spoiler alert, I'm going to be talking about throughout the season, and I'm definitely going to be talking about the two most recent episodes of The Walking Dead, so if you are not caught off with those two or are just getting into the show, then I wouldn't watch because you'll be spoiled and it won't make any sense to you. So, I am going to talk about death on the show, and while I absolutely get into the show, I get emotional over the show, I am attached to the characters, I am attached to the show, but I know characters are going to die. Believe me, like, I mean, I don't have any affiliation with The Walking Dead, I don't know any spoilers, I don't read the comics, so I know just as much as the average fan knows. I don't like spoilers, so I don't like to read them, I don't like... I like to keep it as not knowing anything because it makes the show more enjoyable. But what I mean by me knowing characters are going to die is that obviously characters are going to die on The Walking Dead. It's The Walking Dead. Um, it's shocking by how the characters die, when they die, and who dies. But it's not shocking that characters die, if you know what I mean. I don't know why people get so, like shocked when when they die like you know that they kill off main characters you know characters are going to die i know that every single one of my favorite characters are eventually going to die i mean that's what i assume i don't know when um but i i know somebody at, at school who had a fit because not a li literal fit but because um a spoiler alert because tyrese died and it's like, you know that he was going to die eventually. You know characters die. I don't know why that's such a shock that characters die on the show. It's like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, it wouldn't be a zombie apocalypse if everybody lived. It's not the living. It's the walking dead. Um, and that's what makes it good. And that's what, what makes it dramatic. That's what you go, oh my gosh, my feels for. Or that that's when you you know, show your emotion. Like, yes, you are entitled to think whatever you want about the show. Um, but I don't understand how people just don't get the fact that people die on the show. I, like, getting back to what I was saying, um, his favorite character was Tyrese, and he's like, oh, I didn't watch that episode because he died, or I'm not going to watch it anymore. And it's like, you knew that he was going to die eventually, like, I explained to him, like, I'm like, characters die on the show. He's like, oh, well, you know, like, he's a popular character, and they wouldn't kill him off. He's a main character. And I'm like, they, I'm like, are you kidding me? He's going to die eventually. Maybe not next episode, maybe not a season from now, but he will die eventually. And, like, as a lot of people did like Tyrese, yes, but he's not like a Rick or a Daryl or anybody. And they'll probably die off eventually, too. Although I don't see it happen happening unless the show is ending. But I was like, I was like, it doesn't matter he was on the first season and, or it doesn't matter if he just came on. It doesn't matter if they're a main character or not. They're going to be killed off. That's the Walking Dead's thing is to kill off main characters. There has been characters since season one that have been recently killed off. It doesn't matter if you're a main character. It doesn't matter if you came on for one season. It doesn't matter if you came on for two episodes. They killed off Herschel. Dude, like, people loved Herschel and they killed him off, you know? That's part of the show. I was genuinely very upset when he died. I miss him to death on the show. Um, no pun intended. But I miss Herschel like crazy. I miss some of the characters so much. But I know that's a part of the show. And I, don't get me wrong, I just got just as emotional. But, like, I don't know why it came as such a surprise. And second of all... People who complain about the show, um, you know, it not being action 24-7. And if you want to see action 24-7, go see Fast and the Furious. If you want to see blood and gore, go watch a horror movie. That's... The Walking Dead is not... It's a drama series. You're going to see drama. 
Um, it wouldn't, in my opinion, I don't think it would be good if it was just non-stop killing zombies. It's not just about the zombies. It's about also the threat of people, which also makes it very good, too. I think it also is great with character development, storytelling. There's some episodes that are like the season one, uh, season five, episode one. The first episode had non-stop action and gore. That episode, they were slitting people's throats. So, yes, you had that gory part. Uh, that whole episode was non-stop. But then you have some episodes that are more calming, that are more storytelling, and or more character development. You have some episodes that may not have action in it, but there, it's a very important episode. Um, episode one of this half of season five, um, it was surprising with Tyrese. Second of all, I really wanted to talk about the second episode because one of my uh, friends said that it was really boring. And while I agree with that because there was no action, um, there was a lot of other important scenes in it. And I thought the quote, uh, we are the walking dead, was absolutely amazing. Like when he was making that speech, that was fantastic. Um, I think it was more storytelling and we got to see where Maggie is. We got to see where Sasha is at this point in terms of emotional. It's not all just about the action or the zombies. It's also the threat of other people, you know. Who put down the water bottles? That was interesting. Um, there is obviously when they were all together holding open the barn. I thought that was great. I also what I also thought was one was absolutely looked epic is when they were walking up together on the road, squad goals, we're all entitled to our opinions. We don't have to like everything The Walking Dead does, but if you're looking for non-stop, go to stuff that has non-stop. Um, it's a horror drama series. It's not Fast and Furious 5. It's not like the Saw movies, you know? So if you want to see that type of stuff, go watch that stuff. You don't have to like The Walking Dead. Mm, and yes, you are entitled to your opinion, as I'm repeating myself, but there are some things that I thought were, for me, in my opinion, I thought were important in the show. Um, I feel like we always have, a, the show has, does it so right with character development and storytelling and action and gore and the zombies. I think they have it leveled because some episodes it's nonstop. Some episodes they have a mixture of both. Others, it's a more calmer episode, you know? And this episode gave us a lot of information. Like, for me, I'm a wrestling shooter, so I review everything. I, I'm also like the Talking Dead, Chris Hardwick, I think that's his name. You know how he goes over and discusses The Walking Dead. That's what I do with a lot of things. I mean, I'll be doing more of that kind of stuff besides talking about that. But the show is much more than just... Um, zombie killing, and, you know, we, we, I'm repeating myself, but we also have the threat of people, like, it's not just, zo not just killing, killing, killing zombies, that's fantastic, believe me, but it's the threat of people, and what, where's Morgan now, um, we have a new character introduced, they left off with a cliffhanger, so I'm excited for next week, so I want you guys to comment down below on what you thought of The Walking Dead, and I will see you next Thursday, I think I'm going to put up a video. I think I'm going to do a video every Sunday and Thursday. I know today is not Sunday, but... We talk about the Royal Rumble. Now, I'm not going to do a 